Hello guys, how are you? I am Noor and today I will go through the explanation of layout.cs HTML file inside our mvc.net 6 application. So basically layout file or the layout.cs HTML file as the name explain use for setting the layout of our application. Uh, I think uh, I should go to the and then explain me. Um, here, let's suppose you have uh, a website where uh, there is your header of your application and let's suppose here is the footer of your application uh, and no, uh, let's suppose you are using here, it is, it is the body of your uh, website. Okay. No, let's me put here some content like the home page. Uh, page. And here let's suppose you have the contact us. Sorry guys for the bad drawing. Uh, okay. And here you have footer like in the footer you know that there are content like in this home, about, contact. And here let's suppose you have the address, blog, x, uh, like in this way. Basically a website look like in this and here you have some uh, content like this. Uh, if you are uh, using it like a news website, then there will be content like um, news title, and the new uh, the news title and the news body uh, and here maybe the news image the one image the second image and the third image let's suppose you have a website like in this way now how will you use the layout page in your spmvc application basically when you click on the home page then the content of this area will be replaced by the home page but the header and the footer will be remain static. No content will be changed. And when you click on the about us page, then the, this area will be replaced by the about us page, but the footer and header will be remain same. And again, if you click on the contact us page, then the contact us page content will be loaded, but the footer and the header will be remain same. Because you are using a layout and you decide to uh, keep the header and footer static. You want the header to be at the top of your all pages and you want the footer to be at the bottom of all the pages and in the middle you want to be the content dynamically loaded for all the pages. And let's suppose you also want to have a left side menu like um, you see in the admin panels. Uh, this was the first content and the second content and the third content. No, you are deciding a layout that on the left side I want the left side menu, in the top I want the header, in the bottom I want the footer. So in, in the layout you are deciding basically the layout of your website and some kind of other things like uh, the status file registration also. Uh, you are importing the CSS and JavaScript file also in the layout pages. Uh, no, I will create a project of spmvc.net 6 uh, so that I can also show you the code of the layout page. Uh, click on this option and I will select the spmvc. I will search for spmvc. No, here select this template uh, with the model view controller click on next here I will keep the name of my application ASP layout yes it will be the name of the project and it will be the location click on next and here I will select the framework here are uh, 3.1 5.0 and 6.0 I will select this one no authentication tab, uncheck this option and click on create.
Okay, so the project created successfully. Let me first run the project uh, because I want to show you just the simple layout that by default use uh, by the SPMVC uh, project. Okay, guys. So here you can see that we have the header of the website. This area is the body of a page. And here we have a very simple footer. If I click on, no, I am at the home page. Just refresh the page again. Okay, no, I am at the home page. If I click on the privacy page, then this content will, uh, will remain same. These will also remain same. But these content will be replaced by the privacy page. Now I am clicking on privacy page. You can see that the home page content replaced by the privacy page. Now I am going to the layout file so that you can see the difference of this thing. Inside the share folder, you have to add your layouts page. You can also use different layouts according to your pages. Let's suppose you have 10 pages inside your application. And for the five pages, you want to use different layout. And for the next five pages, you want to use different layout, uh, like in the sense of theme, in the sense of coloring, in the sense of content placement, then you can use different layouts also. Now I am opening the layout page. Here, let me close this one, this one, and this one. You can see that it is not a normal HTML page. Here we have the header, the body, and the, uh, it is the oral HTML tag. <coughs> uh, inside the head tag of the layout, as you also know that in normal uh, HTML pages, we import here the CSS and the JavaScript files. You can see that I am importing the bootstrap library, the site.cs in this folder. Yes, the site. Site.cs and also these uh, CSS uh, file. And inside the footer, uh, you can see that I am importing some jQuery, bootstrap.js, and site.js uh, libraries. It is like in normal HTML page. But how these things are constant, the header in the header in the top of the application, the footer at the bottom. Basically, if I just expand this one, here you can see that it is our header. In the footer, we have the foot, uh, here we have the footer at the bottom. But how the body is replaced dynamically? It is due to this line. Let's suppose you hit the home page, then this con uh, content will be constant, this will be constant, but here the home page body will be rendered. And then let's suppose you go to the privacy page, then again, this is constant for the privacy page. This is also constant. But the render body, this line of code will render the privacy poli policy um, page content. If I just show you the content of the pages, the, it is the home page and it is the privacy page. In the privacy page, you can see that we have this content. Yes? And inside the home, we have some different content. So it will be replaced by using the render body. Let's suppose I want here uh, also a, a div and the div should be, let's suppose I want the div to be, uh, to be viewed uh, for all the pages. And inside the div, I just want to add h2 tag and hi, node, and node. But this is simple. Now let me uh, hard reload the application. And you will see that this content will be uh, constant and will be displayed for all the pages. Because uh, I want to um, uh, to be this content in the layout of the website and I want to be displayed for all the pages. So let me go to the browser. You can see that the high noon is displayed as, as after the uh, header of the website. If I go to the, no I am at the privacy page. If I go to the home page, also this content will be here. High noon, it is constant now. 
privacy pe hai hi noor because i want that this content should be displayed for all the pages no let's suppose i want to use different layout for the privacy and different layout for the home page then how will i handle uh, i just i have just to stop the application let's me add another layout page to the shared folder uh, just copy this one and paste here uh layout uh, privacy yes it will be the layout privacy and uh, let's me rename this one layout privacy yes uh, no i have two layouts the layout the normal and the layout privacy uh, i will go to the privacy page and i will change its uh, layout how can i change its layout i think i can do like in this way layout is equal to i will give the full path it is views add and inside the share i have this uh, layout cs html right control z control z it's fine i want for the privacy page to be different layout no i will uh, let's me open the layout dot privacy yes uh, for the layout dot privacy i want to keep the color of these Uh, the background color of this div to be like uh, to be a like yellow background color should be yes yellow i want for the privacy page and for the uh, home page i want to use the layout uh, dot cshtml this layout and for this layout uh, the, uh, there will be no div uh, but and there will be no uh, i mean background color so let's me run the application yes so it is our home page and now let's uh, let, let's me open uh, the privacy page you can see that for the privacy page the background color is different and here the background color uh, there is no background color because i am using two different layouts accordingly right uh, so you uh, i have also explain about the footer uh, about the javascript file and about the cs files right okay so this was about the layout page uh, thank you